Hi, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and I specialize in the treatment of celiac disease. Today we're talking about a paper that uh, was published in JAMA Psychiatry in September. This paper um, studied whether there was a connection between autism and celiac disease. And by use, utilizing the registries available in Sweden for both conditions, these re researchers were able to show that there was no significant overlap between these two conditions. So patients with autism are not more likely to have celiac disease than patients without autism, or patients with celiac disease aren't more likely to have autism than people without celiac disease. What does this mean? Well, this means that, if anything, it's evidence against there being a connection between gluten and autism. Certainly this connection has long been suspected, and there have been a number of studies undertaken trying to identify whether there is some mechanistic or causal connection, but really without any good evidence to support it. This study did show a, a weak but positive connection between having antibodies, we call them often most likely gliadin antibodies, and autism. But this does not reflect cause and effect. And it might indeed be the consequence that somebody who is a patient who's been suspected of having autism may be subjected to far more diagnostic testing than individuals who don't have a suspected diagnosis of autism. And that will, may well lead to more false positive tests, tests that would be in those patients with autism. Um, so I would not suggest that that association is causal. This is obviously an area of some controversy, and um, there are uh, obviously children and their families with autism are, are very much seeking answers for cause or even things that might help um, the symptoms of the condition. But this study suggests that celiac disease is not really part of that, any more so than it would be in anybody in the general population.